Mmm. Ah, it's good coffee. You got my dad mug going on here. So, guys, this is the uh, Ham Radio Minute. It's going to be longer than a minute, but I'm going to try and keep it less than our normal stream. And it's just going to be focused on one question. I'm going to try and uh, dive in as deep as I can and give you as much information as I can on the topic. Uh, this case is a question that uh, I'm using the example Twitter question here from Avi, uh, but I, I've gotten this from a ton of people, okay? And I'm not doing this to, to pimp my own uh, Amazon affiliate store. I only am uh, trying to save everybody money. So let me, let me walk through what happened here. Uh, Avi bought a Baofeng, and it's titled a Baofeng BF F8 HP um, from something called miniinthebox.com. And I think he paid like $40. I don't know what he paid to ship it. Uh, so already kind of warning signs going off right there. If you go on Amazon, you look up the BFF 8 HP. It's a $60 to $70 radio. So this would be like $20 cheaper than that. So kind of, uh-oh, somebody's at the door. Shoot. Ah. What? That was FedEx, man. It's going to derail the whole stream because the whole house just illuminated. Sorry about that. Anyway, so he bought this BFF8 HP, and uh, he got it, and he realized that it only has lower, medium, and high power. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I have a hard time. Look. Look, that's you. That's you. Well, this is just not going to work at all, is it? I thought I could sneak away, but I guess I can't. So um, anyway, he bought this, what was branded a BFF8 HP. turned out that it was a UV5R. Now, that's my assumption, and I'm going to try to explain why. Let me switch over here. Are you going to help me with uh, the video? Oh, there you are. So we've got a BFF8 on the right and a UV5R on the left. The way they function, right, all these radios pretty much function in a very similar fashion. They have a, a double line screen, the keypads are laid out the same, the VFM, uh, VFO and the memory, the AB slot, the way the keypads, they're identical, right? The only difference with the BFF8 HP really performance wise is that you have the higher power level. So how you see that is you go to menu, right? TXP is uh, memory slot two, click memory again, and you can, you can cycle through low, medium, and high, okay? So I usually leave it in medium. There's a whole topic of discussion on that that you're not supposed to really transmit in high power all the time. You transmit in power, the least amount of power it takes to get your, uh, your transmission out. So here's the, B, uh, the UV5R, guys. And if I go to, let me get the transmit power. So there's the, tra come on, bud. Come on, camera. Where's the, tra how do I? There we go. We're in high right now, right? But if I go... Oh, wait. Come on. There's only, there's only one option. There's high and low. There's no medium. High, low, no medium. Whereas on the BFF8 HP, there is a low, medium, and high. So, uh-oh. Somebody says the rotating circle of death has taken over the stream. Stream looks good on my end. No. No? You think the stream's bad? Well, it is the Ham Radio Minute, so basically what I'm saying here, guys, let me go back to the question. Um, I've said, if you're not buying through a trusted source, whether it's like Amazon or it's uh, whatever, and even on Amazon there can be counterfeits, okay? So the, the trick here is that you're going to have to be a little diligent in who you buy your Chinese radios from, and I, and I mean Chinese radios, that's where most of the problems come from. Same thing for antennas. There's counterfeit antennas. But I wanted to point out, uh, Baofeng, if you want to buy one, I would recommend going and getting it through my affiliate link. I, I appreciate that I get a cut of the action, and that's kind of how it works. I get a couple, little bit of change here and there. It doesn't cost you any more, uh, but you're gonna get, you're gonna get a better radio, and that's that's what you want here, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, let me something else here. Hold this. You like Ricola? Oh, Ricola. Uh, anyway, yeah, so if you can, go uh, go get it from a more trusted source than just a random fly-by-night website. That is, and in Avi's case, it's a problem because his country, the, the shipping is through the roof. It's $120 to get a BF, BFF8 HP+. 
So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Alex in the chat says, FYI, there's a Baofeng BF F8 Plus, and its TX power is up to 5 watts. Yeah, so that's what it could be. Um, it, it, it could be some kind of weird in between a UV5R and a, and a BF F8 yes. HP. The UV5R, I did give him the radio, but he started pushing the PTT, and I don't want him, uh, I don't want to be breaking FCC rules. You want me to open this? I don't think you're going to like it, though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, anyway, uh, for those of you that are watching this live, the name is misleading. Yeah, the name is misleading. That is a very misleading name. For those of you that are watching this live, tomorrow I'm going to be at the TRW Swap Meet. If you're in the Southern California area, it's in Redondo Beach, California. TRW Swap Meet, there's a link on my Facebook page to the event. It starts at 7 a.m., goes to 11.30 a.m., and they're going to be doing licensing testing, and it's also a really great um, just swap meet in general for technology stuff. I have a lot of fun when I go. Uh, so I will be there. Edison's going to be with me. We're going to be going, uh, we're going to be stroller mobile, so I'll have some radios with me doing some fun stuff. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. I'd love it if you went and checked out my Patreon. That helps me out a bit because YouTube's giving me a hard time. So, anyway, thanks for watching. This is just a ham radio minute. I'm trying to bring some more information when I can to the masses here on ham radio. Uh, if you have any further questions, like I said, contact me on Facebook. That seems to be the fastest way to get a hold of me. Okay? Can you say bye, Edison? Bye. Can you say bye? Bye? No. Yes, you can. <laughs> say bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Candy. Bye. <laughs> All right. See you later, guys. 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 Oh, of course. And now it's. I'm gonna have to restart or not reset the uh, the stream. Guys. I know YouTube has a problem with their streaming system. It always happens this way. Okay, guys. See you later.